Hey parents, Mr. Jim here, and guess what? All of Mr. Jim podcasts, yes, I'm talking kids short stories, kids animal stories, biology squad, bedtime stories, all of them are now available on Story Button. Story Button is my invention that I invented to make it easier for kids to listen to podcasts, their favorite stories, off of screens. Parents, you know how it goes of putting kids to bed, maybe having to use your phone or an iPad to listen to stories. Well, uh, we want to put that to an end and make it easier for you all to listen to audio stories off of a screen. Story Button is a device that connects to your internet to freely access all of the great kids podcasts available in our library. Go to storybutton.com to learn more. And when you order today, you can save $20 and get free shipping at storybutton.com. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Oh, dear. On the last episode, our friend Declan, the Draco lizard, remember, was practicing and getting ready for that big flying competition. Oh, dear. Well, while he was practicing, he accidentally fell all the way down to the forest floor. A lizard like Declan is not made for the forest floor. How in the world is he going to get back up? Let's see what happens next. Declan the Draco Lizard had just taken a very hard, very unlucky fall to the forest floor. His jump started off like all the others that day with a leap and a glide. But faster than he could even say, oops, a bird had passed in front of him, making him lose his eye on the branch he'd hoped to land on. Whack! He smacked into a small branch and tumbled all the way to the ground. To make things worse, he'd also injured one of his back legs. Oh, I gotta, I gotta figure out a plan to get back up safely. He looked around and started walking, well, hobbling a bit towards another tree. Declan limped up to a slightly smaller tree. Hmm, I wonder if I could just get up this one a little bit. If I could just find some small branches to hop on, I could get off the ground at least. Declan managed to make his way up a few feet off the ground, then heard a little sound. Hey, whoa, didn't see you there. Next to Declan was an almost perfectly camouflaged Indonesian tree frog. He was bright green, the color of the leaves, and seemed to move so easily around all the branches. The sticky pads on his feet helped him stay very stable as he climbed. Oh, whoa, I I didn't see you there either, Declan replied. The name's Tim. And I must say, I've never seen one of you guys face to face. I always just see your underbellies flying right above of my face, said Tim. Yet I, I can't say I've seen a frog like you in a while. See, I had an accident while jumping, and now my leg is hurt. I'm trying to work my way back up to safety before, you know, a monitor, snake, bird... Anything who knows how to eat me has me over for dinner. Well, I don't know much about climbing as a lizard does, but if if you follow this line of trees, here you'll be able to work with some low-lying branches. It's, it's a longer route, but it sure beats going straight up the trunks, said Tim the tree frog. Wow, thank you. That sounds like just the route I need. Declan said, and he was on his way. He slowly climbed, then hopped over another branch and climbed some more. It was definitely a slow process. 
but by evening, he'd made his way back up to the canopy of the treetops. He'd actually climbed such a different route that he was a bit closer to the meeting place that was planned with Paisley. He saw those spiky fruit trees just a few trees down, and he was excited for some termite dinner. Declan glided over to the durian trees and started calling for Paisley. He wasn't sure if she was even still there, but it was worth checking. Paisley! Paisley! Declan called. Then out popped a little head from behind a huge branch. Declan! There you are! I was beginning to think you weren't coming. That was quite a long practice flight. Paisley said. Well, so was I. I actually had an accident and fell all the way to the forest floor. I hurt my leg here and had to come up pretty slowly. Thankfully, a friendly tree frog named Tim gave me an easy route, but I'm starving. Uh, I don't even know if I'll be able to compete, Declan said. Wow, Declan, I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Paisley felt bad that she had thought. Declan just decided to not join. Let me take a look at your leg, she said. Paisley bent down and looked at Declan's back leg and soon realized the problem. Declan, you have a huge thorn stuck in the back of your leg. That must be why it's hurting so badly. What? Like it's still sticking in my leg? Oh no! Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. It'll come out really easily. Paisley quickly pulled the thorn out of Declan, and immediately he felt so much better. Oh, wow. Paisley, thank you. You're right. Whew, maybe I'll be able to compete after all. That is if I can get uh, my nerve up to it. Oh, Declan, you've got this. Don't let one fall get you down. Paisley tried to give him a pep talk. She knew he was a great glider. Okay. I guess I will do it. Will you be there to cheer me on? Declan asked. I wouldn't miss it for anything, my best friend, Paisley said with a big smile. The next day, Declan the Draco Lizard competed, and Paisley cheered along. With some confidence and encouragement, Declan was able to beat the all-time world record and came in with a jump of 26.1 feet. He was declared the gliding champion. And to this day, he is known as Declan, the Great Dragon Flyer. Wow, what an amazing story about a brave little lizard and a great friend. He definitely could not have done that without her help. It's amazing to have a good friend, right? Or to be a good friend. Yeah, why don't you think about a really good friend of yours and maybe today you can send them a message. Maybe you can think of something that they're really good at. Or maybe you can just tell them that you're thankful that you two are friends. Even though this is the end of our story about Declan and Paisley, I think it is only just the beginning of their amazing adventures that lie ahead. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. Critter Protectors, I need to make sure that you are following the show, so make sure that right now you smash that follow or subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome adventures. And if you love critters of all shapes and sizes and wonder what it means to be a Critter Protector, we have some great information for you and your parents to look at in the show notes below of how you can become a Critter Protector today. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super-duper day, and we will see you on our next adventure. Bye!